Hello everybody, I hope you're all okay and that you've had a good week. I'm really pleased to be doing Next Step this week. I've got my hot chocolate and my Bible, so I'm all set to go. If you want to gather these things together yourself, that would be great, and then we can start the session. This week, our focus is on the promise of the Holy Spirit which can be found in John chapter 14, starting at verse 15. And this is when Jesus tells his disciples he's going to be leaving them, but he's going to be giving them a helper who will stay with them forever. And of course, that is the Holy Spirit. I'll be reading that in just a few minutes, but first, a little starter activity. Hmm. Lovely. I wonder how many friends you, you have that you don't see very often. Maybe you have family and friends who live a long way away. Of course, at the moment, there'll be lots of people that we don't see in person. But I want you to think of just one person who's special to you. And I want you just to take a few minutes to think about that person and to think about the qualities that make them special to you. So maybe you could have a pen and paper at hand and jot down a few ideas. Maybe they've got a great sense of humour and make you laugh. Maybe you've got a lot in common with them. Or the fact that they just accept you as you are. Another thing I want you just to think about is how do you keep your friendship or your relationship going when you don't see them very often? Just take a minute and we'll come back to it in a second. Well, I hope you've had a chance to think about that person um, and think about the qualities that you appreciate in them um, and how you keep in contact with them. Now, for me, it's a friend that I've known since I was six years old and her name's Catherine and she lives up in Yorkshire. Catherine and I have been through all sorts together. We've had some difficult times that we've shared and we've been able to support each other, but also we've celebrated with each other in the good times and um, all sorts of things I could tell you about that we, we adventures that we had in our childhood, but that will be for another time. This is a little uh, jewellery box that Catherine gave me a few years ago, and it's just a simple little reminder of her friendship. Now, the way that Catherine and I keep in contact um, with each other is through talking on the phone on a regular basis, maybe through uh, WhatsApp, and also, we probably see each other once or twice a year. So th that's a way that we keep our, our friendship alive and strong. Today's reading is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 15 to 21. As I read, keep an ear open for the word helper, and also, remember how you keep in touch with friends or family you don't see and what Jesus is saying about how God communicates with us. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper who will stay with you forever. He is the spirit who reveals the truth about God. The world cannot receive him because it cannot see him or know him. But you know him, because he remains with you and is in you. When I go, you will not be left all alone. I will come back to you. In a little while, the world will see me no more, but you will see me. And because I live, you also will live. When that day comes, you will know that I am in my Father and that you are in me, just as I am in you. Whoever accepts my commandments and obeys them is the one who loves me. My Father will love whoever loves me. I too will love him and reveal myself to him. I often find after reading a passage from scripture, it takes a while to really understand the full meaning and what it's saying to me. And Maybe you feel the same. 
So I'm just wondering whether you'd like to think about a few questions over the coming week. And uh, if you have any particular thoughts or insights, it would be great to hear from you. So here they are. In what ways does God help you? In what ways would you call God a friend? Christians believe God is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. In verse 16, can you identify the three persons of the Trinity? And I'll just read that to you again. I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper who will stay with you forever.